Welcome to You're Doing It Wrong with Coach PJ. Today I'm going to show you some of two of the most common mistakes with the kettlebell swing. So most people who don't understand how to perform a kettlebell swing, one of the very common what things they do is they try to squat their kettlebell swing. So this is what that looks like. They think that they're using their legs to drive the kettlebell and they keep their chest upright and they squat down and back. You can relax. What that does is as she goes and swings the kettlebell away from her, that puts a ton of tension, a ton of stress into her spine, a shearing force into her spine as that kettlebell pulls away from her. So it's actually really bad exercise for her spine and she's not gonna be able to use nearly as much weight because she's actually trying to rely on her quads to do the work. In reality, a kettlebell swing is not a squat movement. It's a hinge movement. So what I actually want her to do is hinge at the hips. So some people will actually hinge at the hips, but they perform it this way. They keep their legs relatively straight. They just bend over and swing the kettlebell through. You can relax. And again, that's putting her spine, her back, her body in a really unsafe position. So what we really want her to do is we want her to have a slight bend in her knees, and then when she swings the kettlebell back, it's gonna stay really close to her body, like she was trying to hit herself in the butt with the kettlebell. So she's gonna bend over at the hips, just slow, show a slow hip hinge position. Now most of the time, if I'm teaching somebody a kettlebell swing, I've already taught them how to hip hinge. If they don't know how to hip hinge, they're not gonna be able to do this right, because when they try to hip hinge fast and dynamic and control a kettlebell, they're gonna put themselves in a really unsafe position. So I'm gonna teach them how to hip hinge first. So Christina is going to hinge all the way over at the hips, nice neutral spine, or her head, she's looking down at the ground, so she has a neutral spine the whole way. And when she swings that kettlebell back between her legs, it's going to put all that tension back onto her glutes and her hamstrings. And then she's going to fire her belt buckle through. She's going to come up nice and straight. So as she comes up at the top, her body's nice and straight, she's snapping her hips through, and we're dynamically loading the glutes and the hamstrings down at the bottom. So she brings her chest almost parallel to the floor, neutral spine, loads those glutes and hamstrings as the kettlebell comes back to the back position, and then she concentrically loads the glutes and hamstrings as she fires her hips back through. One other really common mistake is when people do this and they try to fire through too much, they end up hyperextending. They fire their hips through and they lean back with the kettlebell. And again, this jams my, my vertebrae all on top of each other, puts my spine in a really unsafe, hyperextended position where I don't want to be. So what I want you to do is fire your hips through and then squeeze your glutes at the top so that you end up in this nice straight position. I tell people that the top of this kettlebell swing should be exactly like they're in a plank position. Tension through their whole body, knees locked out, hips locked out, and their body's locked nice and straight. And then they actually throw the kettlebell back between their legs to cause more force to come down, so at the bottom they need to overcome all of that eccentric force and then reload the, the uh, glutes and hamstrings as they fire their hips back through. So she just show me a couple more good reps. She keeps the kettlebell close to her body, she hinges at the hips, she swings back like she's trying to hit herself in the butt with the kettlebell, and then she fires her hips back through. Much safer, much more effective way to train the kettlebell swing where she's not trying to squat up and down, keeping her chest up, or using her arms at all to raise the kettlebell up because that's gonna be ineffective and that's gonna put her in an unsafe position.